he had some brothers pulling up to the corner and, and then when they got to the corner, they seen a old school pimp out there, you know, being on his pimping. They had to raise down the window to holler at him. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Say pace. Buddy on the high pursuit for a prostitute. You did. Say pimpin'. Right on, pimp. Go ahead and spit that is a piece. And when a hoy on the clock, a real pimp's money stop. Right on. I told her my pimp is the reason why you leaving. Come back next season. I'll still be breathing. Right on, pimp. Right on. Now that pimp, man, he he was he was dressed he was dressed to impress. I give him that. He had his his pimp company and everything. You know, I mean, um, I know it's hot out there to be wearing that, that trench coat and, and 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 the suits and all that on the street. You know, I remember Pimp C said uh, uh, Pimpin was going to the well before he died, and that's exactly kind of what it did. When you call uh, things like OnlyFans, these new pimps, that's what they doing. They they getting females uh, uh, some of that witchcraft at the plastic surgeon office. And, um, you know, putting them on OnlyFans. But the thing is about the OnlyFans thing, and I'm glad they're doing it. OnlyFans about to kick them all off. Because you know what? I have no respect at all for somebody that can just do that and just cash come in like it ain't nothing with no work. No, I, just, I don't respect it. Sorry. You can say, well, you hating. It's not about hating. It's the fact that I just don't have no respect for it. I always respect anybody that works hard. Now, people that's in the pimp game today, you taking a very, very big risk. And the risk you're taking is human trafficking charges, which is fed charges. Um, they can hit you with kidnapping. They can hit you with all kinds of things. So a lot of guys that's used to be highly active in that pimping like that, um, they're not doing that too much anymore. Now, some are still out there doing it. I know you've seen probably some of them interviews on that uh, one YouTube channel. They interview all the pimps. You know, I mean, I know they're paying a grip uh, from, well, from what I heard, dude, it's paying those people uh, to do those interviews. But, um, you know, those guys, you know, between the gorilla pimps and the finesse pimps, which that's the two pimps, you know, that's out there, right? The gorilla pimps, that's usually more so the abusive ones, the ones that beat their women and all the things that they do uh, to the women. But the finesse pimps is the one that used the mouthpiece, right? Um, I think a lot of times when you hear those, you know, women in those situations and how they kind of got there, you know, it, it's usually some abuse that happened in the household, you know, and it just led them down a horrible path. Um, you know, I know I, as a father, I would want to, you know, my daughter or, or nobody's daughter out there with that um, because some of them women get killed. You know, some of them women get strung out. You know, it's all kind of things that happen in that situation. Um, that's why I'm a firm believer of they should just go it on like they did the marijuana legalize it, make them people get registered, you know, uh, uh, pay taxes and everything else. Cause people is going to do it, do that mess anyway. And, and you cut out, uh, the pimping and you cut out all that other stuff that that's with it. I mean, people have been doing that since the dawn of time. They call it the oldest profession, right? Um, you know, Las Vegas and, and certain places like that, uh, have legalized it and have been, a, I guess an issue. But like I said, when it comes to marijuana legalization or even something like that, they just always got to figure out a way to tax it. And if they can't really tax it, they don't want to legalize it because the government, they want every dime they can get. But, um, you know, what y'all think about, by pimping one thing about, by pimping up there, you know, you spitting the ism, you know, it's like they, they have a mouthpiece out of this world. I wish some of them, well, some of them have wrote books, but, uh, some of them need to write some poetry books. Cause like I said, they, <laughs> them dudes there, they, they be, uh, be flowing with the poetry. Say peace. Buddy on the high pursuit for prostitute you did say pimpin right on pimp go ahead and spit that is a piece and when a hoy on the clock a real pimp's money stop right on i told her my pimp is the reason why you leaving come back next season i'll still be breathing right on pimp right on